Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a full face of Sephora makeup. Not Sephora collection, not the Sephora brand, although we do have some things in there, but from makeup from Sephora. I think this was pretty much long overdue and I went shopping and I was like, let me just do a full face, you know? So we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna first be taking the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And I'm going to put that all over. I've been really liking this. I like dragging it down to the neck, pushing it upwards. The eyebrows are already done, so I'm going to move on to prepping the eyes for some eyeshadow. So to use that, I'm sorry, to do that, I have here the Narsaf Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have it in the shade Light 2.3. I don't know if this is my shade, but I wanted to try something that was a pot concealer. So this is her. So I'm just going to go ahead and take her on a brush and apply that straight onto my lid. She's thick. Most of these products are so new to me i've never used this one so yeah i'm gonna use a beauty blender to kind of blend it out so far i like it it's thick and i like the consistency of it and it's providing a nice base for my eyeshadow i also oh girl I also really like the color of it actually. Um, I think I picked a pretty good shade. This is, I believe, light 2.3. So Madeline, and I think I chose a pretty good shade for my lids. So we're starting off good. For the brows, I did use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brown Shade Medium Brown, but I don't have a lot left. So I didn't want to show it and run off on camera, but I didn't run out so but that's what's on my brows if you were wondering that they were done before I started filming so I cleaned up the brows a bit using the um, NARS concealer and I really like it I like it so now we're gonna move on to the eyes which I'm so excited for I have here the Huda Beauty naughty nude palette I've never used a Huda Beauty palette so when I was able to get my hands on this, I was just so excited. Um, and I thought this one was like pretty and worth to have the coin spent on. So this is what it looks like. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't even know what look I want to do. Okay. Let's get started though, because I'm kind of excited. So I'm going to start off with the shade Filthy, Filthy, which is this light pink, and that's going to go into the crease. There's fallout in the pan, but that's fine as long as the shadows perform for me. I'm good. By the way, this mirror is huge. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. I love this mirror. Wow. Okay. I'm like so excited to use this palette. I think I want to stick to the pinks because this is such a pink based palette. So I'm going to go into the shade Untamed, which is this one right underneath the first shade. And that's going to go on the outer corner. <gasps> that's pigmented. That was just one dip. That's very, very pigmented. Wow. Okay. Okay, and the shadows are blending in really nicely together. I'm liking this so far. And I love this untamed shade, like this burgundy shade. It's so pretty. I feel like it's kind of going to go with like the top that I have on. By the way, the top is from um, the Boohoo X City Girls collection. What do you guys think of it? I think it's so cute. I'm going to just keep building that untamed shade because I don't know how deep I want it to go. But I'm gonna keep building it. Mm -hmm. 
this is turning out so pretty these shadows are gorgeous so I'm gonna take that same NARS concealer and I'm gonna cut my crease I'm gonna do a half crease half cut crease and I'm gonna take that same brush so just gonna go ahead and cut it I feel so bougie oh my gosh okay So, this concealer is better for like prepping the eye rather than like doing a half cut crease with it because it's so thick. Um, I may try it again, but so far I'm not. I like it for what it's supposed to be used for, not for like right now what I'm doing, but I'm still gonna use it because I use it on the other eye. Gonna take that same first brush and that untamed shade and. What I'm gonna do is I'm basically blending the um, shadow and concealer so that the line isn't so harsh. And then I'm gonna take that filthy shade, which is the light pink, and blend that in as well so we don't lose sight of that girl. I'm so confused as to what like this is supposed to be. Like, I don't know, what do you do with that? But I'm just gonna leave it because she look a little scary. Like I touch it, it feel a little oily. Like, do you take something off? I don't know. So I wanna go. I wanna go into passion. So I'm gonna go into passion first, and I'm going to take that on the inner corner of the eye because I kind of see want to just see because like I'm very intrigued. Like this is what it looks like on the brush. Like what is it supposed to come off as i don't know like does it come off as multiple colors i don't know so we'll see oh my god it does hold on wait it created like a bluish wait what okay oh wow do you guys see that let me zoom you in comes off as like bluish okay this is cool I really always wondered with like Huda's palettes with those shades that have those multiple colors and swirlies in them how they would come off and this is how it's coming off and it has like a hint of purple and everything it's so pretty though okay I'm not mad at it. It wasn't the look I was going for, but I'm not mad at it. But I want to see how the other shade Provocative is going to go on. So I'm going to take that one now on the other side. And we're going to see how that goes on the outer portion. So that one goes on more pinky. Okay, because maybe it had more like pink hues to it. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty together though okay this is so different okay okay but i really don't know what the heck that's supposed to be it kind of scares me so i'm just gonna leave it alone but um okay interesting very much interesting very different i'll hold my thoughts for the end i have here two sephora collection eyeliners i think one of them is a brown yeah this one, oh, this is the Rich Plum, and this one is the Satin Chocolate Brown. I feel like I should go into Rich Plum today. I don't know if it's gonna show, but these are waterproof liners, intense ink eyeliner, so. Because the Sephora collection at the time that I shopped was having like a, a sale, I think, which was like a few weeks ago to a month ago, so. Okay, there's a little ball in there, so let's see how it looks on the eye. I feel like using that Huda um, palette it's mirror because this is like one of the best mirrors. So first things off the bat, this is a harder tipped liner. Um, in comparison to the e.l.f. one that I always use, it doesn't have like the flexibility of the tip. But I guess that helps, especially if you don't know how to do your liner. 
That was a pretty choice. Yay. I knew what I was doing when I was shopping. I knew it. But it really helps you create the wing look. So that's a plus. I'm just not used to like hard tipped brushes when it comes to my liner. I prefer something that, um, you know, gives me the flexibility, but it helps a lot, especially maybe when you're in a rush or also when you're first learning, you just boop boop and you have a nice pointy wing. But the color payoff is absolutely beautiful and I think it goes really well with this makeup look. So I'm happy about this, actually a lot. I'm very happy about this. I got the infamous Tasha Silk Canvas Primer. This girl is expensive, but um, we'll see. We'll see if we like her, we'll see. She comes in such cute packaging, like the presentation is key. It also comes with the little spatula if you wanna use. And this is it. So I'm going to use the spatula and I'm just going to apply it like that. Take my finger. Very soft on the skin. Very soft. And you get a lot of product um, for like 52 bucks. But I mean 52 bucks is... But that was nice. That was very, very nice. Oh my gosh, I actually enjoyed putting that on my skin. It almost smells like it has some type of peppermint. Or like, I don't know, like, my skin feels like awesome. So next I'm gonna go into foundation. So for foundation, I have the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in shade 3.2. If you watch me, you'll see that I have been using this lately and I absolutely love it. Such a good shade match for me and I love the formula of this. It's like the best foundation. Uh, it's really full coverage and I love it. Especially when I'm going for those really bold looks. This is my go-to girl recently. So if there's anything that I recommend getting in this video, it's this foundation. I, I love it so much. I went and smooth it with my beauty blender. My camera's literally dying. I hope that it doesn't die because, I mean, I'm sure it will, because it's just my look. If you just see, this foundation goes on so smoothly. And I guess maybe it's with help with this brush. This is the Morphe JH03, but it just, it, it looks so good. So here's another product that I'm really excited for. It's like so thick. This is the Cafe Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and hand foundation really oh i thought this was just a concealer okay i have the shade light 140 this was on sale when i bought it that's why i got it if i'm being honest so i was like let me just try it it's on sale oh that's really bright that's that's light and i put a lot already but we can fix it no worries so taking it everywhere where i would just conceal yeah, that's hella light. Okay, so I think to kind of help blend out, I'm gonna use that brush that I used the foundation. It's a very watery um, consistency, and it's like thinner. It's a thinner consistency as well when applying it, but we'll see how it blends out and how it plays out. I think that looks good. My beauty sponge and just Okay, I have to admit this is really pretty. This combination between the Smashbox foundation and this concealer smash slash foundation smash foundation slash foundation from Marc Jacobs is a pretty good um 
mixture because the Marc Jacobs is more watery than the Smashbox. So it gives you hydration, but you still have that matte finish. So it's not too heavy on the skin, which I'm liking so far. So before we set underneath the eyes with the new product, I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Teddy. I'm excited to try this. I wanted to get the bronzer in a powder form, but I'm really obsessed with a bronzer right now, so I figured I might as well try the cream first, which I think is a newer formula anyways. So this is what it looks like. I think it'll be a good shade. So I'm going to just take this e.l.f. brush, this is the 104, and I'm just going to take it and kind of fill in where I want to contour. And I don't know if you could see, you could build the product up, because at first it went on like much lighter and now I'm kind of building it, so I like that. And I'm just going to use this other e.l.f. brush. This is the 106, and I'm going to use that to blend it out. It blended out very nicely into the skin. I definitely think it's something that you have to work with quick because it can dry. But it blends out super nicely, so you don't have, like, crazy... Like, you see highlight contour, like it's a very nice, natural blend, so I do like it. Not my favorite product to uh, contour with, if I have to be honest, like, I don't know. It's not bad though, and I didn't mind the shade, but maybe I need a shade deeper? I'm not too sure. But anyways, I don't mind it though, and I like how subtle it is, so... I'm gonna go into now the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in shade Butter. Never tried this, this is my first time. I'm trying to get on the Fenty Wave because I tried out like the concealer when it first dropped and everything, I have a video on my channel. First of all, this is a huge packaging. Like, this is huge. Like, this is powder that's gonna last you so long. And I had a video of the Concealer, which I did like, and I love their gloss bomb and also their lipstick, so. So this is what the powder's looking like. And I'm going to use just my regular brush that I like to powder with, and I'm going to place it. Oh my god, it has such a nice uh, scent. Oh my gosh. It has such a nice scent. This is reminding me of like a translucent, which I go for more of like a banana light, but we'll see. I'm like inhaling all of this powder, but it smells so good. And it's actually really blending into the skin so beautifully. Kind of shocked. I'm gonna put the excess powder back into the packaging. I love Rihanna's packaging. I don't know, it's just so cute to me. Like, I just love it. Like, she hits it. She hits every single time. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna let my camera charge for a bit and I'm gonna bronze with my regular bronzer that I like to use because I didn't pick up a powder bronzer. When I come back, we're gonna get into, you know, mascara and um, lips and everything and my final thoughts and highlights. So. I'll be right back. So, okay, so I went ahead and I added some highlight. I added the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter, which I have right here. I just didn't want to show it because she's cracked, okay, and I'm kind of sad. I also added into my inner corners, I added the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Cloud. I just thought it would be a pretty pop. So, I'm going to go ahead and move on to mascara now. And I have an interesting product to show y'all. So, from the Sephora collection, they have something called Glitter Top Coat Mascara. So I guess you put it over, and it's gold. I, I don't know, I'm skeptical, like 
but I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna coat my lower lashes with my mascara. I'm gonna start on my lower lashes because I'm scared of how it's gonna look. So this is what the inside looks like. I don't know. I feel like this is like, what the heck? Why does it look like that? I'm so confused. Is it broken? No. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna just add the glitter. I don't know. Okay. Some glitter was added. You can't really see it on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the top so you guys can see. Okay, so for some reason on the top lashes, it's not showing. But on the bottom ones, it shows. I thought that this was gonna be like a regular wanded thing, but um, I'm gonna have to play with this more because this is kind of looking like a dub to me. Um, Literally, oh wait, oh my god, wait. Do you guys see that? Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's still weird to me, but I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting. Then I'm gonna move on to lips and we're gonna be all done. I picked up a few lip products. I picked up the Too Faced Lip Injection Bee Sting. Um, this is from their new like Teddy collection or whatever it's called. And I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Fussy. I love these as um, lip glosses. But today I think I'm gonna go into the KBD Vegan Beauty Bow and Arrow Lip um, Lipstick. This lipstick lasts so long, especially with the masks, and it's like my perfect nude. So I want to go ahead and apply that. And then... I'm going to just spritz my face one more time. My camera is literally at 1%, so I'm going to say, <coughs> oh my gosh, I loved everything in this video that I tried. I really like the eyeshadow palette, and I have to say I really like the liner. Um, the worst thing was the freaking little glitter mascara. Like, what is this? I don't like it. Um, I also really like the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, you guys let me know some of your Sephora favorites. I'm so excited to have tried these products out and more to come. I'm going to definitely shop at Sephora more now because I've loved everything that's basically on my face. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my god, we made it before the camera died. The little thingy showing, like, the battery's done. Like, the battery's done, and we're still here, so... That means you should subscribe, okay? That means you should comment and like. But I'm really loving this eyeshadow. It's crazy. But okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!